Yeah, so hello guys. So uh, I have some colleagues that are facing difficulty during home-based learning. They have difficulty marking students' submission when uh, students submit their work through Google Classroom and uh, they do not have a tablet with them. So uh, they are only left with the stylus on their SSOE laptop and they are asking how could they mark uh, effectively. So uh, I actually had a discussion with uh, people that are better in uh, ICT and uh, actually my colleague uh, Romel is here, uh, suggest uh, one very simple method and uh, after trying it out, I also find that that is by far the easiest method for the time being. I think that if let's say touch wood, this circuit breaker is being prolonged, then I think it is a good investment to actually get a tablet or an iPad to assist you in your marking. But in the meantime, while you are stuck at home and, you're, and you can't see your students, um, this is one way where you can uh, mark the assignment that the students submit through Google Classroom with just your laptop. So let's begin. Um, this is my Google Classroom from 3.6. So I will use it as an example. So let's go to classwork. Uh, one of the work that is due. Oops, sorry. Um, right. So let's go in and use one of them as an example. So let's say I wanted to mark all these things. So uh, and I don't have a tablet, so I'm doing it on a Chrome browser. So I just click on one piece of work. And I will let it load. So this is the work. I can uh, zoom in, zoom out, and uh, uh, move up and down and things like that. So how do I mark? Uh, unfortunately, uh, you, you, you cannot just take like that and uh, mark. But you can actually uh, comment on their work. For example, if down here there's a missing uh, symbol, you can uh, click on this and then you can type in your comment like uh, add uh, F to indicate that this is a focal point. And you can click comment and it will be added. So on the student, the student we know that you are referring to here. Uh, if you want to edit the comment, you can click on this three dot and you can edit or delete it. You can also add this to a comment bank. So if you do this, if this is always a common mistake, then uh, if you want to, if you are too tired to type, you can click here. And you can see that down here, the, the, the things that I type in will appear. And then uh, you can just, the next time you want to annotate like here, she forgot the F again. So you click here. Uh, and then I think I can just um, get it here. I'm not so sure. Yep, yep, it will be there. So once it is in the command bank, right, I think it's autofill. Let's try it. Uh, yep. Once I type the first few letter of command bank, uh, command bank, command, command bank, then uh, Chrome will actually prompt you whether you want this and you can just click and you get it. Then you can click command also. So once you're done, uh, that's it. Um, uh, if What if there's no error? How do you tell uh, the student that you have looked through? Then maybe you can add in uh, one line here and say, good job. Yeah, or you can say, check. Yeah, and then you can, like that. And uh, once you are done, you can click submit and that's it. Yeah, and then you can go to the next page. Or the next one, I think this is the next one. Yeah, is that is another students. So you can go left, right like that to to go through your thing. You don't need to always go back to here, click again. So just now I'm marking this. Now I'm marking Megan, and uh, if I want, I can go again, and then I got a uh, Yuling, which is the next one. So actually, uh, using Google Classroom, uh, if you don't have a stylus or that you don't have a tablet, you can still do your job. Uh, there is some limitation. So that's why I say in the long run, it is good to invest in a tablet. Okay, so I think I will pause here. Uh, if I have a better solution, I will upload another video.